why don't we wrap by talking about, I have the very uh, misfortune to have a head and neck cancer. And I come to Johns Hopkins, I'd like you to talk about the surgical approach, what you would do, what's unique about being here, the medical oncology approach and the radiation mm -hmm. approach. So I guess it doesn't just start with a surgeon. It's a multidisciplinary <laughs> team, and we all work together very closely. And we have our speech language pathologist, or dental. Um, so there's an extensive team who's um, also involved in the care of a patient. So it's not just the three of us. So hopefully you come to the multidisciplinary clinic and see us all on one day. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, just to emphasize, I think the best part about Johns Hopkins Head Neck Cancer is that it's a team. It's a multidisciplinary team where everybody works together and that makes a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. You see everybody, uh, you get the best from each piece, and then we formulate a personalized approach that's right for that individual patient. Um, and so I think one of the strengths also is that you, we have the, uh, uh, the gamut of research uh, studies as well. But in terms of clinical standard of care, as a surgeon, you know, we offer robotic surgery for HV-related mm -hmm. cancer um, patients. Um, and then, you know, they see the rest of the team. Um, and sometimes advanced imaging helps us personalize it to the patient. We just had a patient this week who, you know, it was hard to tell whether they were a good surgical candidate or more appropriate for chemo radiation, but the depth of the tumor and how much of the tongue is involved really influences the potential morbidity of the surgery versus radiation. So we take some of the advanced imaging um, into close consideration. I think the biggest uh, change or what's different here at Johns Hopkins for head and neck cancer is that we are able to integrate new modalities, especially from my perspective, immunotherapy with radiation and with surgery. I think immunotherapy is right now used to extend life by a few months in metastatic patients. But I think the goal of curing more patients by using it before or with radiation or before or with surgery, I think that can have a much bigger impact where we actually increase cure rates. At least that's my hope. You know, Some of that is aspirational. That's what I think as a team we're working on. And I guess what's notable about it is that the research enterprise really is integrated into the clinical enterprise and they're not separate missions. Mm -hmm.